In a world that gets more ominous by the day, this most recent example of what looks like a communist takeover of America to me seems more nefarious than usual. So what we have here is Lockheed Martin, who is America's largest defense contractor, pretty important company. And they've apparently adopted what to me looks like a modern version of Mao Zedong's brutal struggle sessions, which occurred during the Chinese Cultural Revolution that ended in almost 2 million dead. Now you're probably asking yourself what I did. Why is a military defense contractor, one that's crucial to America's defense, sending their white employees to a re-education camp based on communist practices? According to Christopher Rufo, who broke the story, quote, the nation's largest defense contractor sent key executives to a three-day white male re-education camp in order to deconstruct their white male culture and atone for their white male privilege. I've obtained internal documents that will shock you. Well, first of all, I'm shocked that people would be asked to atone for something that is an inherent trait that they were born with. Seems pretty racist to me. And I'm shocked that a company who is no doubt bound to anti-racial discrimination laws is blatantly discriminating and racially abusing its white employees. Like, where are the lawsuits? For one thing, there's no such thing as white male privilege. We gotta keep pushing back against this because it's assigning traits and broadly generalizing and judging people based on their skin color. And this is literally the definition of racism. All you have to do is ask yourself, what if this was all going on but with black people or with Asian people or any other group. It would instantly be called what it plainly is. Rufo reports the program was led by the consulting firm White Men as Full Diversity Partners which specializes in helping white males help white males awaken together. The participants included a former three-star general and a vice president of production for the 1.7 trillion dollar F-35 fighter jet program. Well, hell, maybe that's why they're sending this guy, because the F-35 has been kind of a failure. But that doesn't sound like a cult at all, does it? Nothing ominous about awakening people that are being re-educated based on their skin color. Rufo continues, To begin, the diversity trainers led a, quote, free association exercise, asking the Lockheed Martin employees to list connotations for the term white men. The trainers wrote down old, racist, privilege, anti-woman, angry, Aryan nation, KKK, founding fathers, guns, guilty, uh, can't jump, okay? The trainers then asked, quote, what's in it for white men? Listing responses, quote, I won't get replaced by someone who is a better full diversity partner. I will improve the brand. The brand as in being a white person? There's a brand? Hmm. Image, reputation of white men, and I quote, I will have less nagging sense of guilt that I am the problem. <laughs> kind of hard to do that with, with this sort of thing going on. Uh, that seems kind of counterintuitive to what's happening here. Um, so, I mean, just look at this insanely racist shit. They're literally trying to get these guys to accept that all these things describe them. They want them to, quote, confess. <laughs> I mean, so much of this is really like the Maoist struggle sessions and even the Salem witch trials. And this is where it gets really good. So white men as full diversity partners argues that the roots of all white, white male culture include traits such as rugged individualism, a can-do attitude, hard work, operating from principles, and striving towards success, which are devastating to women and, and minorities. So I, I guess what they're saying is that all these traits that make successful people, not just successful white people, I mean, these are the traits of successful people no matter what color you are the world over. But all these traits are now bad things because allegedly it's devastating to women and minorities because women and minorities don't possess these qualities apparently. I mean, yeah, who would want things like a culture of hard work or a can-do attitude or operating from principles or striving towards success at one of the premier engineering defense industries in the world. I don't know. I, I, call me conspiratorial. Call me a tinfoil hat nut. But this is looking more and more like an out in the open plot by the CCP to weaken our country. Now that I'm thinking about it, it really reminds me of something. Do you all remember that crazy racist document that was put out by the Smithsonian that was saying all these exact same things about so-called white culture. All the stuff about individualism being bad, the scientific method, emphasis, objective, rational, linear thinking, cause and effect relationships, um, Protestant work ethic, hard work is the key to success. Work before play, these are all white culture apparently. Honestly, it reads like something the KKK would have put out against minorities. But this is just how batshit crazy everything is now. His piece goes on for a little bit, but this is the last part I wanted to talk about. Uh, Rufo says that next participant 
participants were asked to repeat and internalize 50 white privilege statements, uh, including my culture teaches me to minimize the perspectives and powers of people of other races. And also I can commit acts of terrorism, violence or crime and not have it attributed to my race. Okay. Now be honest. This is a cult, right? Look, this is just straight up brainwashing using made up myths popularized by the Democrat state media and their Marxist foot soldiers. My culture does not teach me to minimize perspectives and powers of people of other races. Uh, that's never happened in my lifetime. And it seems like that's exactly the purpose of this re-education. Like, that's what it's actually doing. And the thing about terrorism there is just stupid. Crime and terrorism have been attributed to white people's skin color. The massage parlor shooting, for example, that just happened. Even though there was no evidence of racism, they all still insist it was racism. Uh, the George Floyd case. The cop was white, so racism, even with no evidence of racism. What the hell is going on here? Like I said earlier, there should be a torrent of lawsuits heading their way, but does anybody think that that will happen? Of course not, because apparently the majority of our country is okay with anti-white racism, uh, Maoist struggle sessions, and all the bad stuff that comes with that. All right, folks, that's all I have for that. I do want to let you know that I'm going on vacation starting tomorrow, so you're not going to see any videos from me until the end of next week, but if you enjoyed this episode you enjoy my channel please hit that like button share and subscribe maybe while i'm gone you can go back and watch some of my old videos and share them around to your friends uh as always thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time